at Harvard University, our computer systems are pushing the envelope. We're a different type of computing environment and we really care about the outcomes of our science. As human beings, we ask ourselves many questions, why? Um, and our scientific computing and our research computing is there to support the ability for our researchers to ask those very difficult why questions. One of the things that's really exciting that's happening here at Harvard in neuroscience is that we're probing the brain at many levels. The brain is the most complicated thing that humans have ever faced. But ultimately, the function of the brain is related to which cells are connected to which other cells. The physical structure of this wiring diagram is a deep mystery, and that's the mystery we're, we're trying to attack. We have built a kind of electron microscope that is taking a picture of individual sections of the brain. This is big data. <laughs> this is literally the wiring diagram of a brain. There isn't more data than that. But now you have a fire hydrant massively opened, throwing out this huge, huge amount of data. And to turn the raw data into information we can use, we have to color it in. A human can color one thing at a time. A computer can color 10,000 things at a time. We're dealing here with data that is not only different in structure, but, but different in amount than people like me as a biologist have ever dealt with before. The research computing infrastructure is perfect for this kind of question. Jeff Lickman's laboratory is exploring at the smallest levels how individual neurons connect to one another and talk to one another. Our laboratory is exploring the same question but at a much larger scale. We're now looking at the interactions of thousands of brain areas across thousands of individuals. The horsepower that we now have access to has allowed us to explore the data in open-ended ways, and we've made a number of discoveries about brain organization uh, given that freedom. We're here to make sure that people's scientific output is the thing that's held to the highest quality levels. Our measurements are the scientific results. We have idiosyncratic needs that we need flexibility to handle, and research computing has been uh, incredible at, at helping us. We have a very small, dedicated team of scientists and development operations staff that really care about outcome. Without research computing, uh, we'd basically be lost. Now, any student, any fellow that has a creative idea, a new way of looking at how the brain works, the brain is organized, is now just limited by their creativity because we have the computer resources to actually make the discoveries once the ideas are there.